Hey, S'mores, I'm Shannon Morris. Welcome to Morse Code. Let's do a quick poll. If you own a Samsung phone, have you ever experienced having Samsung push native advertising in your face on your device to promote their own products? Now, if you don't own a Samsung phone, how would you react to that? Now, I ask this question because tons of users in the last year have experienced this on all sorts of Samsung phones. But the thing is, even though I own Samsung Galaxy devices, I have not had this experience and I think I know why. So if you have been getting Samsung ads on your Galaxy phone or your tablet, I hope that this video will help you understand why they are there and how to get rid of them. So when you're purchasing a brand new, super fancy, like $1,000 plus phone, assuming that it's unlocked and you don't get any kind of additional discounts, the last thing that you would expect is for the manufacturer to also throw advertisements at you to buy their devices. You already bought one of their devices. Why do you need to see these ads? Well, these ads pop up on the default apps and within the notifications bar. I'm sure anybody can understand why they would be really annoying. So why are they there? Well, according to Samsung's customization service, which you can read the whole thing online, it's really boring, so I'll just spare you the details. Samsung uses the data it collects about you through their apps to display customized advertisements about products and services that may be of interest to you. And upon doing some research, we have also been warned that Samsung may be selling your data to third parties. According to XDA developers, a toggle to do not sell shows up in the Samsung Samsung Pay app, and that showed up not long after CCPA, which is California's Privacy Act, when that went into effect. Now, many users have reported that they disabled the customization service options in the setting, but they still get the ads. So why don't I get them? Hmm. So this is what I think. I think it's because I never agreed to them in the first place. I never had to turn them off because they never showed up in the first place. See, once you've set up your phone and you started getting ads, you can only really disable that customization service, which means that you will no longer get personalized ads, but you will still get some kind of advertisements potentially. So this is actually something that you have to solve before it becomes a problem. Now, if you do wanna go into your settings after you've set up your phone, and hopefully get a lot of these ads out of your device. If that's what you wanna do, you go into your settings, then tap on the Samsung account, privacy, and scroll to the customization service option. Then you go to privacy settings. Beside the setting called customized ads and direct marketing, toggle that setting off. Now, if you've never turned on this setting before, you will see a pop-up that says personalize your apps. Leave that option disabled, don't turn it on, and just back out of there because you don't need to do anything. A second option is to open the Samsung members app, click on the three dot menu in the upper right corner, choose settings, disable marketing information, also open settings, apps, Samsung push service, notifications, and disable marketing. Another place where you will find ads is in the Galaxy Store. Now in here, you click the hamburger menu icon in the top left, tap the settings icon, and disable the news and special offers and customization settings. Under notifications in that app, turn off promotions. Next, go over to your settings, account and backup, manage accounts, Samsung account, profile info and scroll down to preferences and disable get news and special offers. You can also open up settings, privacy, and disable customization service and any marketing options. I realize that's a lot, but if you do go through all of these steps, hopefully you will stop seeing those ads. Now here's my pro tip though. Every single one of these options will already be disabled if you set up your phone with a little bit of patience in the get-go. Now, when I was setting up my S21 Ultra and my Galaxy Z Fold 2, I screenshotted every single place where I ran across where Samsung wanted to serve me up some kind of ads and I had the option to refuse. In each of these cases, when you first sign into your Samsung account and open these apps, the first page will have these entirely optional bullets. 
that Samsung just expects you to click without reading. But if you do read them, each of them is entirely optional. And sometimes it will say optional in parentheses. I actually went through and I tried to find a bunch of them just to show you. But first, check out these different ways that you can support this free content or just skip ahead using the chapter markers right here down right below on YouTube. If you didn't know this, on mobile, you can click on the title of this video and that will show you a description with all of my chapter markers if I have included them. Okay, so here are the ones that I found. Whenever you first sign into your Samsung account, leave customization service unchecked. Leave get news and special offers unchecked. I also left that offline finding disabled and I hit agree. This next one is for the Galaxy Store and that one just says get news and special offers. I left that unchecked and hit agree. The Samsung TV plus watch app, it had two optional marketing bullets. Leave them blank, don't hit all, and just skip them and hit agree. If you use Galaxy themes, same thing. Marketing choice down there at the bottom, that is completely optional. Leave it blank and hit continue. I ran into this one when I got my new Galaxy Buds Pro. So I left that option unchecked, even though it doesn't say anything about ads. In my opinion, the less data that I am allowing Samsung to collect, the less info they have on me to potentially target me with ads or sell. Even when you set up the weather widget, you may see that personalize your apps pop up. Leave it disabled. You do not have to turn it on, so just don't. So those were all of the ones that I found, and I'm sure that's not all. Those just happen to be the ones that I actually used Samsung apps for, whether that was for a review of some kind of application or service, or it was something that I actually use on a day-to-day -day basis, like my Galaxy Buds Pro. In my humble opinion, I know that it's very humble, but hopefully somebody out there will listen to it. Samsung should not be pushing ads at you after you've spent upwards of $2,000 for a flagship phone. It's intrusive. And honestly, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. While technically they are allowed to collect and sell data as long as you agree to it and you know about it, they do it in this very sketchy way which plays on users just agreeing to everything and not actually reading the terms of the agreement. And to me, that's really gross. Now, if you are still receiving ads, even though you've unchecked all the things, the end all be all fix that I can think of is to factory reset your phone and take a much more patient approach to setting it up. Read each and every page that you are agreeing to before you hit okay. And if there are any advanced options, check those advanced options because oftentimes you can turn off specific privacy and security settings within advanced options. And hopefully, I hope, you will be able to enjoy your Galaxy phone just like I do, which means ad free. So now that you know what to look for and you know what's going on with Samsung and their advertisements, how do you feel about it? Have you experienced this and did my fixes help? Comment below and let me know. And a big shout out to Dan and Gabriel on Patreon for their support. Thank you again to my s'mores for subscribing and for watching. I'm Shannon Morse and I'll see you soon. Bye y'all.